Welcome to Think Outside the Vase. My name is Sophia. And my name is Victoria. And in this episode, we're going to show you two quick ways to revive your hydrangeas if they haven't had enough water or if you just want to get a few more days out of them. Hydrangeas wilt pretty easily, so if you have a wilted hydrangea, like this one, unfortunately, don't worry, there's a quick and easy fix. Hydrangeas are one of the few flowers that drink water not only from the stem, but also from the petals. So what you need to do is you're going to prepare a tub with a mixture of flower food and water, like this. Then you're going to cut the stem of the hydrangea at an angle, and this is going to ensure that you have a wider surface from which the stem can drink water. Then you're going to fully submerge it in water, and you're going to make sure that the petals are also drinking water. You're going to leave it in here for about an hour, and you're going to see the hydrangea plump right back up. Another way to make your hydrangeas last a little bit longer is if you spray paint them. So what do we need? We need specially formulated paint for flowers. So you're going to grab your hydrangea, and you're going to gently shake the hydrangea so if there's any petals that are like attached together, you'll be able to loosen them up. And that way you don't have like a white patch in the middle of your painted hydrangea. So I chose these three colors because we're going to kind of do a little bit of a Thanksgiving nice palette for it. And now you're ready to paint. Only use spray paint in a wall ventilated area because the fumes, if you inhale the fumes, not good. No bueno. So you are going to uh, have the hydrangea about 12 inches more or less from the spray paint to the flower. And you're going to do it in circular motion, something like this. So I'm doing this in this yellow color first. I'm doing the base part of it. And now we're going to add a touch of red to it. So I like to leave a little bit of the touches in yellow so that it creates like a nice gradient to it. Is that work? Yeah. And then all the last of the yellow areas, I'm going to finish with a little bit of orange. Now that you've painted all of your hydrangeas, we're going to show you a simple centerpiece that you can create for the upcoming Thanksgiving season in these beautiful fall colors. Okay, so now we're going to show you how to make a very simple centerpiece with your newly painted hydrangeas. So, since you've gone with a beautiful fall color scheme, you want to select a vase that has a contrasting color. In this case, a beautiful cobalt blue is going to really provide a nice contrast to your hydrangeas. So what you want to do, very important. As we saw earlier, hydrangeas become dehydrated very quickly. So you want to make sure that you pour some water with some flower food mixed in first thing. You prepare a solution and up well, you pour it into the vase. That is the very first step. I know this is like self-explanatory, but you'd be surprised how many people miss this step. Okay, so now you have your two hydrangeas. In order to give them a nice round shape, a trick of the trade is to apply a clear plastic band to the stems in order to make them tight. And these little like transparent rubber bands, you can get these at the dollar store, really. Very, very cheap for like a lot of them. So you put these a little bit more towards the top. The top, thank you. And yeah, you have to cut them. Very important, you cut the stems. And then you place them in the vase. Press down on them. Make sure that, you know, they're nice pressed together. And there you have it. This is what your centerpiece would look like on your table. You can do a grouping of two or three or however many the size of your table allows. You can create a neutral background by using a neutral colored linen like ivory or white. Uh, you can further accent and complement the color of your vases with similar colored stemware or chargers. In this case, we're going with a blue accent theme. You can bring in the fall feel even a little more by adding some pumpkins at each place setting. 
You can include some fall leaves, which you can find at your local grocery store or craft store or your local florist. Make sure to include some pumpkins in between the florals as well to bring in that fall feel and tie it all together. Simplicity is always elegance and it makes for a more stunning display in the end. Remember to support your local florist. These are artists that create art on demand and make our lives more beautiful. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for watching Think Outside the Base. If you like our videos, please consider subscribing to our channel. It helps a lot, it helps a lot. We will have new videos every Friday. And please check out our website, thinkoutsidethevase.com for even more floral and event design content. Bye. Bye. Bye.